The Snake River Panthers finished last season 6-3, and three, falling in the first round of the 3A playoffs. The reigning Southeast Idaho Conference champions are ready to take the next step. I thought we had a good year. You know, the kids played well. We did a lot of good things. Uh, you know, just when we got to the end, we just didn't perform like we hoped we could have, and the uh, season ended a little quicker than we'd like. Especially coming in first year, if you go 6-3 and three and make the playoffs and win the division, I really think that we did a good job. I miss, you know, I miss a lot of those players last season, but, you know, you can only look forward to this season. I'm really excited and have high expectations for this year. The Panthers' off-season numbers were impressive, and entering year two under Coach Daly, this group is energized. We know them a little more, just a little, we can get going a little faster, just, it feels great. They bought in a little bit more to what we're trying to do, and they've been a little more dedicated this year, and so it was good to see them out this summer. We got a lot of kids out this summer, so it's been a good year for us, so we're excited for what's going to happen this year. Expect a high-octane passing attack from this offense, with Williams slinging it and plenty of weapons to throw to. We got five guys that we put out there, Phil, that, uh, you know, they're, every one of them is a matchup problem, and we can get the ball to them, so... Hopefully that, that's our strength, and, and then we can build upon that. Marcus, Big Tall, and Andy got great on the outside to throw it up to, and then we got fast inside with Kyson and Justin Ray. But yeah, it's, they're all special in whatever they do, but it's great. In Coach Daly's first stint at the helm of the program, leading Snake River to two state championships, most recently in 2014. The Panthers hope to get back to the promised land this fall. Win state. Oh, yeah. Just make it to play playoffs, get to that state championship, and win it. Take the momentum that we had from last year and build on that and, and try to get better this year. And, and you know, the goal of every team out there, you know, you want to be playing deep into November. And so, you know, that's what we're shooting for. But we're going to take it one game at a time and see what happens. Then we got Coach Daly mic'd up. Get back. Oh. What was your steps? Come on. Don't just stop. Run with them for a little bit. That's good. That's good. Good job, Justin. It's not easy to be short, fat, and bald and make it look good, but I do it every day. Every day. <laughs> hey, don't click your heels. Don't hop. Just shuffle. But hey, we're just flat footed. We're not moving our feet at all. Our first step, we should be here. We're looking there. I should be creeping. Oh, he's back. Now I can go back. At least come up and don't you bear hug him like that. He's running right by you for days. Hey, go get a drink. Get a drink, get a drink, get a drink. Hurry, hustle. Finally, we asked the Panthers some funny questions. Funniest guy on the team. Coach Dunn. I think it's just because he's so funny looking, but he is pretty funny sometimes, too. Probably Andy Serna. He's a goofball. Andy. He's a funny dude. Strongest guy on the team. Tyler Matthews. Tyler Matthews. He's a dog. He works. He lifts a ton. Me. Oh, yeah. Got to say me. They both said you, too. <laughs> That's awesome. Who's the fastest guy on the team? I don't know. Every day there's somebody different that tries to be fast. Uh, probably the fastest guy. I'm going to go with Justin Ray. Justin Ray. Let's quit. Justin Ray. The speed dude. Who's the most reliable guy on the team? Kenny Wheeler. He's our most reliable guy. Tyson Seacrest. He's pretty reliable. Got to go with my quarterback, Peyton. You know, he knows his stuff. Who's the best looking guy on the team? Well, I don't know. There's none of them that are very good looking. Uh, Andy Cern probably thinks he's the best looking out here. All those O-linemen out there, they're the best looking guys out there. Gotta say Coach Toulouse, you know? What's something we should know about Coach Daly? Coach has got an awesome tattoo of a uh, bird on his ankle. Love it. He likes to joke around with us a lot, give us crap. It, he's just another teammate out there. I love camping, uh, cold up in wherever there's a lake, and I like snorkeling when I'm up camping. The Panthers are 0-1 after a week zero matchup with Utah's Richfield High School. They'll look for win number one on Friday night at home against Kimberly.